thought uh, I can dig deeper than uh, than I like to. Um, Sabine started really hard, and yeah, I had to really fuss bait uh, the first while. So yeah, but it turned out well. But she 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 went very strong at the end, and so I had to to really have hard, hard work hard to stay on her rear wheel. Yeah. Well, let's hope you can improve on your second place from last year and uh, from strength to strength for both of you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, they'll have fond memories of this venue here. Manuel Fumic from Germany. Brazilian champion. They won the final stage, the grand finale, into Mirandal a year ago at the 2016 Absa Cape Epic. They've come back as a combination here. And Fumic in his third Absa Cape Epic and Avancini in his second. Uh, second as a pair and uh, true to form, both in the baggy pants. Yes, they love their baggy pants this Enrique Avancini's uh, converted to baggies. Um, would you remember him ride, riding with baggies last year? I'm, I, can't, I can't quite remember. But um, certainly the, these two are cross-country specialists. They'll be um, aiming squarely at the shorter stages. Um, it's a shorter effort, a much more similar kind of effort to the uh, cross-country races, the, the World Cup, the, with the best in the world in terms of his uh, rivals. Across the uh, timing mat is Emmanuel Fumi and uh, Enrique Avancini of uh, Team Cannondale and we should get a time for them there now just looking at the time checks now they're um, they're riding up there around about 11 minutes or so that does give them the fastest time check so far with quite a few teams still to come they are the quickest on the road 18 seconds quicker than Trek Salison Marco Damiana Ferraro and Fabian Rabensteiner picture there and uh, but Fumic uh, looking very good at the moment so along with Avancini fastest time at that first time check 10 46 and it's at uh, Pais Leon and Max Knox in that second place with behind them it is uh, the world champion Nino Schurter along with his partner Matej Stinnemann in third place and Henri Avancini just having a, a drink and that's going to be vital how to manage hydration although it is a short burst today there will be no shortage of effort uh, so and expend an enormous amount of energy. So Avancini on the front end, Fumic, these two are leading at uh, the first of the checkpoints. Fumic spent a lot of time in South Africa and um, it seems to be paying off because they are the best team so far at checkpoint two. That's the 15 kilometer mark after Spakers Hill. The best team, second best team on the trails is Nino Schurter and Matthias Stinnemann of Scott Sram Mountain Bike Racing. On the front now with that Avancini behind him. Oh, Gerald Neal, I'll tell you what, these guys come and base themselves in South Africa for a number of weeks, making sure that they climatize and know exactly what conditions they'll be racing in the Absa Cape Epic. It's a huge investment from their sponsors, but they know that it's well worth it because this broadcast goes to so many countries in the world and it's well worth their investment. These two riders, known as cross-country specialists, and look at them go. It's happy hunting ground for both of them here and Mirandal. And they are flying at the moment with the fastest time at the second time check. And no doubt when they get to the third time check, they'll also be right up there. And this is beautiful sights with the Table Mountain in the background. Race. And that was a supreme ride. They uh, hardly put a foot wrong. Quite a fantastic ride by Sabine Spitz and Robin Decroot. Sabine Spitz, 45 years old. And uh, great contrast to the youngsters that are starting the race. Uh, um, Jenny Rispitz is 22 years old, so uh, fantastic age range competing at the highest level here. I don't think there were any surprises there to see uh, Emma at the top of the uh, leaderboard for Ascenders Health and Robin Kurt really in the top of her game at the moment in South African racing. And uh, I think well deserved it for her to be at the top there as we watch on with the, the quality of rider that we've got there. We've seen Balan Kornbrick, of course, uh, Kleinanz and Bishop, Jeremiah Bishop, Eric Kleinanz, Nicola Rohrbach and uh, Daniel Gessmeyer of Centurion Vada too. Uh, superb uh, team, absolutely high class. The Scots Ram young guns, Andre Fischknecht, he's just 20, and Michael uh, van der Heyden, uh, former under 23 world champion. And they are serious uh, riders in their own right. Howard Grotz uh, teaming up, he's the American champion with Paolo Montoya. And uh, so there's a race within a race, as I said, but they are all riding back up. This pair, well, they don't, uh, well, they may have a, a secret backup team. Uh, but uh, essentially they don't have an official backup team in this race. It's breathtaking seeing them go past at uh, such incredible speed, bearing in mind how you might, you might as a rider be feeling, uh, having put in your efforts and you see these uh, men come charging past you. The second of the Bulls teams is uh, ahead of them as well. Oh, they're holding nothing back. 
Avancini and Fumich of Cannondale Factory Racing. Closing in onto the uh, third of the checkpoints will give us an idea of whether they're still in the lead on this prologue. They'll be a matter of second minutes, if not seconds, away from that checkpoint now. Enrique Avancini on the front, out of the saddle, powering, taking every effort to get to that checkpoint. Manuel Fumich having to dig very deep. It is quite a remarkable time for that poster. They're up at that checkpoint at 57 minutes and 56 seconds. This is surely one of the fastest, if not the fastest, time of the day. Three minutes, 44 seconds ahead of the next place team so far. Centurion Vote 2, that's Nicola Rohrbach and Daniel Gessmeyer. Well, Canada Factory Racing are putting a marker down early here in this uh, 2017 edition of the APSA Cape Epic. Smooth, silky skills of Manuel Fumich and Enrico Vincini. Got a bit of a play park to get through and then the charge down to the big field for the finish at Mirandal. Super smooth on these berm sections. It is very loose. He makes it look so easy. Riders, even some of the professional riders, there's no ways they go down there that smoothly. Tim Boomer and uh, Tim and Steve John in the mix there as well. They're the backup uh, to the Team Bulls. The outcome here, but have a look at uh, the skill of Manuel Fumich here. It's fantastic. Just a look at the uh, the trail surface. They're very, the tires carving through the loose sand, kicking up the dust. His partner will just leave him a little bit of a gap so he can still see that when the dust settles, you can see the surface of the trail. I think they're ranging up behind uh, Burma and Steve Jump now. A look over his shoulder and he's uh, waving them through. Good sports there, good sportsmanship there from the Bulls. Um, it's within, within their team's interest to. Uh, to be tactical and to race them, but uh, good sportsmanship shines through there, letting them pass. Yeah, they know they're not on the uh, same level just at the moment as these two. Avancini on the front, Fumich behind him as they enter the last bit of a snaky single track berms and uh, sweeping trails all the way down to the uh, stadium finish here at Mirandol. We predicted a finishing time of under, um, under an hour it won't be today perhaps the heat has played a bit of a role and uh, if there's any team to watch that'll be surely the team to beat it'll be this one right here Cannondale factory racing in under one minute five we predict one hour five well they're just in uh, absolutely supreme form at the moment they started nearly seven minutes behind uh, Steve John and Burma and they passed them here that gives you an idea of just how dominant they have been look at Avancini the Brazilian he had his first taste of the Absa Cape Epic last year and uh, came away with uh, strawberries and cream because he loved it absolutely loved it particularly that final stage into Mirandal onto the field Avancini and Fumich of Cannondale Factory Racing they have put together a phenomenal ride here in the prologue Fumich has to dig deep to close the gap to him. They won here a year ago in the grand finale. And uh, if it stays this way, they could well do the same in the prologue here in the 2017 Absa Cape Epic. Last bend under the second last banner and across the line. Manuel Fumich and Henrique Avancini. Oh, what a perfect race for them. They put it together absolutely perfectly. Looks like they rehearsed it to the letter and it resulted in a fantastic ride. It's quite unbelievable to see how deep how deep they were actually digging. This was clearly a focus for them when they started. And these cross-country specialists, they've, uh, so far, they are the leaders in the clubhouse, if you like, with uh, plenty of teams still to come in. But uh, such has been their dominance. As I said, they've finished nearly seven minutes ahead of uh, Burma and uh, Steve Jun, the second of the Bulls teams. So this is what... Absa Cape Epic uh, prologue it is. This is how they went on the uh, men's uh, race today. Manuel Fumich and Enrique Avancini are the men in the yellow jersey going into stage one ahead of uh, the Olympic and world champion Ino Schurter and Matthias Zinnemann 
with uh, Samueli Poro and Alexi Medvedev also on the podium. Sars and Kulhavi have made a solid start as they pursue yet another victory as a combination. They've won two, they're looking for a third together. The best place South African Max Knox together with Hector Pears Leon from uh, Colombia and the best South African combination that of Bell and Combrick in ninth. The defending champions Karl Platt and Urs Huber three minutes and 23 seconds down. They've got work to do for the next week. So that's how they race. Let's uh, hear their views down at the finish. Let's uh, rejoin uh, Leanne Paulick. Thanks, Gerald. Well, they certainly set that track on fire a little earlier on today with some impressive cross-country racing. Guys, what are your thoughts about the way things went? Uh, when I mentioned to you earlier that you'd looked good out there, you were like, oh, we felt like we were going slowly. So I'm assuming you've still got plenty in the tank. No, I mean, we came here well prepared. <clears throat> we had some good time before we came in, in re re really relaxed. And I mean, uh, we went in with the right approach, I would say. And in the end, uh, the training and the preparation paid off. And I'm really happy about our performance today. And finally, we took the win and we're in the leader's jersey. Were you expecting to do this well today? I mean, as many said, we are well prepared for the race. Of course, the shorter stages uh, suit us better. But uh, I mean, we are in a good shape. We want to, to fight for the overall and uh, we try our best. I mean, uh, tomorrow, of course, it's a different race, but today was a short one, but still a really hard one with the conditions, uh, with the heat and also the, the dry conditions, dusty conditions. And uh, we did quite well and we are feeling good. We are a good uh, mix of uh, abilities and skills. So let's see what's still to come for the next seven days. Well, guys, it was a joy to behold. Congratulations to both of you, and I hope it turns out to be an awesome week. Thanks a lot, eh? Thanks. <clears throat> Celebration, my friends. Celebration. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful personalities there, Manuel Fumich and uh, his partner, Enrique Avancini from Brazil. They're in the yellow jerseys going into stage one at the Absa Cape Epic. Beautiful day for the